these were these were the two properties in your even and odd um, that are in your book. This represents um, our even functions. So cosine and secant are what we call even, even functions, if you guys remember our even functions. So what happens when an even function, if you take the negative of your value, you're still gonna get back your original equation. Okay, so if you take back the negative of t, you're gonna, it's the same thing as taking the cosine of t. So I believe they asked us to find uh, cosine of t and secant of negative t. Correct? You know, two problems, 39? Maybe? Yeah. Okay. So obviously, you guys, look at it. If they say cosine of negative t is equal to cosine of t, right? So if they say cosine of negative t is equal to negative one-fifth, what does cosine of t have to equal? Negative one-fifth. Because it says, it says these two are equal to each other. So this is the same thing as that, right? There's no difference. It says they're equal to each other. So just rewrite the same thing. Now, secant of negative t, remember secant, secant of t is equal to 1 over cosine of t. Well, that's going to be the same thing for secant of negative t is equal to 1 over cosine of negative t. So the cosine of negative t is negative 1 fifth. So I have 1 over a negative 1 fifth multiplied by a reciprocal. And what you get is negative 5. Okay? Just remember that one thing when you're your even functions, they're exactly the same. It doesn't matter if you have the negative t, it's gonna or it's gonna be the same. And your secant is your reciprocal of your cosine, meaning just evaluate for cosine, but have it under one. Okay. Any last questions on any